Beep, beep, everybody. Hope you're all having a wonderful day today. Uh, I've got 2023 Tops Archives. I've got a hobby box. Uh, these are selling on tops.com for $134.99, uh, plus whatever the shipping is. But I bought mine on eBay from an eBay seller that was selling them for $120 with free shipping. So that's probably the best place, at least for me, to go because I don't have a local card shop nearby. Not sure how much it's going for there. If you have uh, comments about how it's going at your card shop, you're welcome to post in the comments below so we get some idea. And we are going to open this up. Beep, beep, and hope we find some cool stuff. Beep, beep. Uh, these archive sets are usually one of my favorites. Boop, 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 from Nathan the Gnome. Uh, there are two on-card autographs per box. It's uh, based on the 1956 design, the 1965 design, and the 2003 design. And I guess the base set is divided up into thirds. And um, I think these are from 1997. Not sure what that one's from. Uh, let's dig in and see what we find. I don't normally open very many hobby boxes. Uh, the previous one I think I opened was Heritage. And I opened Top Series 1, which was kind of a dud. <laughs> the Heritage one was okay. Um, some quality control. With, um, I don't know, fuzzy edges across the bottom. So, I uh, Oh, <laughs> well, let's start off with a pair of 3D glasses. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I don't know why this pack is that way. Probably to... Well, they're coming out all kinds of different ways. I believe there are 24 packs uh, per hobby box. Uh, I may, down the road, uh, get a blaster box of this or two and we'll look at those in a future video if i ever find them out there if i don't find them i'll probably find them on uh, ebay slightly less than retail uh do we want to add them up make sure 11 there and it looks like 13 over here so it looks like we're good well let's see what's inside these I like the design of the uh packs uh not sure what this is based on my guess is the 1965 set, but I've never seen packs from 1965. Uh, well, here we are off to an embarrassing start where I cannot open them. <laughs> ah, made in Mexico. How about that? Did not notice that before. Uh, set off to the side. So we start off with a good one here. Ken Griffey Jr., this is on the 56 tops design and the back of that looks like this so pretty cool nice way to start uh, condition looks good so far uh, there's Greg Maddox uh, Michael Bush uh, Anthony Rendon on the 1965 design there's a little bit of a corner issue going on down there so even out of a hobby box sometimes we have some condition issues josh smith uh rookie card oh cool roberto clemente that one looks pretty neat uh, i don't see any issues with the corners on that one hey this is interesting andrew mccutcheon is on the back so this is sort of a special one you see the number 89dh20 so i wonder what this is based on but it's got the six Oh, this is, what am I thinking? This is the 1989 Tops design. <laughs> Duh. Yeah, here's what the uh, 65s look look like on the back. I got a few of the, a uh, few of the originals in my collection. Uh, the blue isn't as bright as this one, though, in the originals. I think it's a little more duller than this. Uh, but yeah, 1989, I don't know what I was thinking. Another embarrassing start. Sean Murphy, this is a 2003 design. I don't really have much from the 2003 set. I wasn't collecting then, and there's Stephen Kwan. So not a bad first pack. Looks like I'm going to have to be... Oh, that one opened up pretty good. Beep, beep. Uh, Bryce Harper. Uh, Byron Buxton. Uh, Ken Waldachuk. 
JD Martinez. Uh, here's one of those inserts. This is an auto auto uh, Alec Manoa. So we got our first auto in our second pack, and I think this is um, season's best. Uh, there we go, 1997. It says it right here on the back. It's like one of the inserts from the 1997 set. So cool. We actually have an auto right away. I'll just pop that back there. Not sure where where my stands are. Here they are. They're off to my side here. We'll put this right here. So cool, we got our first hit. Uh, Alec Manoa struggled last year, but he had a pretty good season the season before that. So we're hoping he turns his uh, career around and has a better season this next season. Carlos Correa, uh, Manny Machado, and Roberto Clemente again. So that's two Roberto Clementes. Beep, beep. If you're new to my channel, we do a lot of beeping on here. Uh, we also occasionally do a hoo-hoo, so you're welcome to join along. Uh, George Brett, pretty nice looking card there. Frank Thomas. Uh, Sonny Gray. Uh, Tyler Stevenson. Justin Turner. And uh, Reese Hoskins. This is something I'm not sure what this is. Yeah, I don't know what this one is based on. <laughs> Looks like he's angry at his bat. Uh, Logan O'Hop, rookie card. And Paul Blackburn. Oh, it's coming out the front way here. Hoo-hoo! Uh, Taj Bradley rookie card. Casey Schmidt. Corey Seager. Just lost the batting title on the last day of the season. Ryan Mountcastle on the 65 design. This one looks... F f for some reason this looks like I've seen it before. Uh, I think there was another 1965 insert set a couple years ago. And I think his he was in that. Garrett Mitchell rookie card. Uh, this is one of those um, 1997 Tops inserts. This is Adley Rushman rookie card, so that's a pretty good one. Um, I guess I'll put that one on a stand. Uh, Brooks Robinson and Eddie Murray. So like past archive sets, um, it features modern players and old-timers. And that's one reason I like the set. Of many reasons, I also like seeing the old designs um, coming back for uh, a, a different retake on them. Clayton Kershaw, Ahmed Rosario. Not sure which pile I want to stick him in. Patrick Wisdom, Brett Beatty rookie card, Mitch Hanniger, Alex Call rookie card, Randy Rosarina. And you, Darvish. Beep, beep. Uh, Ivan Herrera. <clears throat> Francisco Alvarez rookie card. George Springer. Hannes Wagner. That's an old timer. Tom Glavin. <laughs> Uh, Willie Mays on the 89 design, and it has Willie McCovey on the back. Uh, Dale Murphy, nice to see him in there. And James Altman, rookie card. <coughs> Pardon me, having a little bit of uh, sinus issue right now. We had a cold front go through not too long ago, and it seems like during the wintertime, when cold fronts go through, I get some sinus issues going on in... Uh, end up having to clear my throat a lot. J.P. Crawford. There's Hall of Famer Lou Brock. Pretty cool looking card there. Willie McCovey. Yeah, I like these 56 ones. Oh, I have to be careful there. Uh, Edward. Um, not sure how to pronounce that. Julien or Julien. Not sure. Rookie card. Mike Mussina. Uh, Tyler Glass now. This looks like a rainbow foil or something. It's numbered 194 out of 199. I do have a laptop nearby 
Nick Prado and Ezekiel Duran rookie card. I'm going to have a quick peek and see. Uh, yep, rainbow foils are numbered out of 199. And typically rainbow foils in a lot of the other sets are not numbered, but in this case it is. Uh, not, I'm not, I'm not going to put that one on um, uh, stand because it's just Tyler Glass now for now. Um, if it was a bigger name, I probably would. Beep, beep. But we'll set that one aside. <clears throat> for the eventual highlights at the end, uh, Oscar Colas. Uh, Brandon... I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Fought rookie card. Brandon Lowe. Uh, Alex Bregman. Uh, we got some insert here. I think I remember reading they had some sort of comic insert. I'm not sure what design that was based on. Uh, I only did a brief, like, two-minute research on this. Uh, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Uh, special number here, 79 TC15, which suggests to me that... This is based on some design from 1979. You can usually tell by the numbering with the inserts that they, they usually add the year to the numbering in some way. So that's interesting. Hunter Green, Brandon Woodruff, and Tiascar Hernandez. Beep, beep. All right, Joe Musgrove. Got kind of a fuzzy uh, audience in the background of that photo. Thurman Munson. I keep saying it every time I see one of his cards. Uh, I do not know why he has not been put in the Hall of Fame yet. Tom Seaver. Matt Olson had an amazing season this year. Leo Verpiguera. Another one of these comic ones. This is Michael Harris II, and it is a rookie card. Um, Asturi Ruiz rookie card. And Jose Altuve. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and... Uh, let's see, here's another stand. I thought I had a fifth one. Yeah, I do. Uh, this one's going to be way back here. So we're going to put this one up here. Unless something uh, more important comes along. I only have five stands, and I only have limited space on this uh, desk that I'm working off of. Uh, maybe one of these days uh, I'll replace my PC with a laptop, and it'll give me some more room here. Uh, Robin Yount on the 56 design. Johnny Brito. Uh, Ramon Laureano. Kodai Senga, rookie card. Reed Detmers. Marcus Semyon had a pretty good season this year. Hall of Famer Wade Ford. And Hall of Famer Carlton Fisk. Beep, beep. Francisco Lindor. Uh, Spencer Torkelson. Nick Ahmed, Ryan McMahon, Corbin Burns, Hannes Wagner, uh, some kind of Legends card. Looks like this is based on some design from 1957, based on the numbering there. Uh, I'm not sure exactly um, what this is. It says down here, Hit Stars. Uh, maybe that was the name of the set from 1957. I don't I'm not. I don't recall the '57 top set having a subset like this. But you know, I'm not real up on my '50s cards, so who knows? <laughs> Bray and Bello rookie card, Taylor Ward. Um, you can check uh, out baseballcardpedia.com. Um, they have all the details of uh, everything in this set. Uh, they unfortunately don't have pictures of everything. Uh, just a few here and there. It's basically the ones available from Tops, I believe. Jared Walsh. Um, Josh Young, rookie card. Oswald Peraza, rookie card. Xander Bogarts. Victor Robles. Randy Johnson in his Arizona uniform. Manuel Margot. 
and Hall of Famer Warren Spahn from way back in the day. So we're about halfway done. Uh, Jazz Chisholm Jr. Uh, Juan Soto. Joe Maurer, possible Hall of Famer down the road. Emmanuel Valdez, rookie card. Uh, Bleacher Reachers. This is one of those insert sets. This is Hank Aaron. It also has a refractor thing going on there. Uh, and I believe this is based on an insert set from 1997. Felix Hernandez. I think I'll put him in that pile. Hall of Famer Harmon Killebrew. And JT Real Muto. Beep beep. Adolis Garcia. Ah, Lou Gehrig. Trey Turner. Justin Verlander. Shane Bieber. Uh, another one of these uh, things I'm not real familiar with. That's C.J. Cron. Kind of looks like it's out of focus. I'm wondering if uh, this has some sort of 3D thing going on. Uh, I'm af afraid I don't want to open these up just yet, but maybe I'll check on that later to see what's going on with those. Uh, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Uh, Michael Harris II uh, rookie card. Um, I guess we'll put that over here for now. I guess we are looking mostly for Corbin Carroll and Gunnar Henderson. Kyle Tucker, as uh, I just read the news this morning that, um, as William Contreras, that both of them got the Rookie of the Year for 2023. Um... This will probably be late news for you because uh, this video will probably not be posted um, today when I received, read that news. It will probably be posted sometime next week. Giancarlo Stanton, uh, Pablo Lopez, Miguel Cabrera, uh, Albert Pujols, Alex Verdugo, and Shohei Otani. So that's nice. The Shohei Otani cards are always worth getting, even if it's just a base card. Wow, that pack kind of really <laughs> ripped apart weird. Nolan Jones rookie card. Uh, Luis Robert. Andrew McCutcheon. Uh, Jacob deGrom. Jackie Robinson. Uh, one of these comics cards, that's Bryce Harper, uh, Daryl Strawberry, and uh, Braden Shoemake rookie card. I'm thinking that's how that last name's pronounced, but I don't really know for sure. Uh, sometimes uh, baseball reference helps you out with the pronunciation, and sometimes they don't. Say a Suzuki, uh, Michael Tolia. Or Taglia. Christopher Morell rookie card. Hall of Famer Mike Piazza. Hall of Famer Rogers Hornsby. Oh, we got a nice numbered card here. I think uh, I read that this is based on the 69 Tops uh, Team History set or something like that. I'm not sure what it was called. The numbering is 69. TH-23 and this card is numbered 67 out of 69 so that's a nice one not sure what is uh generating the numbering on here but um let me check my laptop and see what's going on with this yeah these are 1969 tops team history foil cards uh It looks like uh, 
Sky Blue Foil are one out of 490 packs, but I don't know what this is. This doesn't look like Sky Blue to me, but... Uh, well, whatever it is, it's numbered out of 69, so that is a nice hit. And it's the one and only Ty Cobb. Probably my first numbered Ty Cobb card. Oh, cool. Satchel Page. That's nice to see him in this set. And Sandy Alcantara. So I think one thing that's different about this um, this year's archives is it looks like they've picked fewer designs. Uh, I think in previous ones there were four or five different base set designs, but you know I might be wrong about that. Julio Rodriguez, my memory just isn't what it used to be. Matt Chapman. Tanner Bibby rookie card, Nick Castellanos, Joe Maurer, uh, Javier Baez, uh, Eloy Jimenez, and Oswaldo Cabrera rookie card. Beep beep. Uh, CJ Abrams, Derek Jeter. John Smoltz, Bryson Stott, Buster Posey, uh, Old Timer Tris Speaker, uh, Will Smith, and Andres Jimenez. Okay, we only have uh, this is uh, we have like five more packs to do. I see a Gunnar Henderson under there. That's a good one. We're hoping to get one of those. Uh, Jock Peterson. Uh, Aaron Judge. Always good to get a base card of his. Matt Mervis. It'd be nicer to get an insert. Miguel Vargas rookie card. Uh, Ichiro. Okay, there's something special with this one going on here. Not sure what the deal is, but it is numbered out of 50. Excellent. We got a numbered out of 50 Ichiro. That's pretty cool. Um, that seems more significant than, say, this card, so we'll put that off to the side. Uh, I am running out of space here, and I don't want the view of everything to be... <laughs> well, let's see. How are we going to do this? There we go. Cool. I'm not sure what the parallel is there. Let's see if we can find that out. Um, oh yeah, those uh, those black cards with the two dots below, they are they require the three D glasses. <laughs> mm, it's not a gold foil. Red Hot Foil. That's what this is. Red Hot Foil. That's what that's called. Uh, Ian Happ. Uh, Cade Cavalli. Rookie card. And a Gunnar Henderson rookie card. Um, I guess we'll take the Adley Rushman one and put that over to my left there. Alright, we have four more packs to go. Beep, beep. Let me back the camera out a little bit. Give myself some room since I've moved some things forward. Uh, Max Kepler. Uh, Bobby Witt Jr. had a great second year. Gabriel Moreno rookie card. He had a pretty good rookie season. Marcus Stroman. Uh, Freddie Freeman finished the year with 59 doubles. Ah, I was so disappointed that that last game of the season he was not able to get that 60th double because if he could have, it would have been the first time in I think over 80 years since someone has done that. And uh, we got an on-card auto. Mookie Wilson. Um, probably not a big deal. <laughs> it's one of these fan favorites ones, but... Uh, I was a fan of Mookie back in the day. Uh, he was the first player to ever have the name Mookie because <laughs> you know, there's Mookie bets today. So I'm really happy about this. It's not a real big name, Aldo, but um, I like this a lot. Uh, Mookie was a pretty cool guy back then. 
I've run out of uh, places to put things. I guess we'll move the Michael Harris. Oh, man, I knocked over Ichiro. I got everything jammed up here really tight. <laughs> Adam Wainwright and Willie Mays. Nice. Uh, Chris Sale, Max Meyer, uh, Shintaro Fujinami, Brandon Crawford, Dalton Varsho, Alex Rodriguez, Ted Williams, and Anthony Volpe rookie card. Well, we're down to our last two packs. And we have our two autos, so we're not going to see any more autos. Maybe we'll luck out and uh, at least get a Corbin Carroll rookie card. I'm hoping I will. Zach Gallen, Spencer Strider, Jordan Walker rookie card, Fernando Tatis Jr., Derek Jeter on the 89 design, and on the back is David Ortiz. A Dominic Fletcher rookie card. Uh, Mookie Betts, so we now we got have both Mookies. <laughs> Jonathan India. So it isn't every day that you open up a box and you have two different Mookies, because there were only two as far as I know. I don't remember any other players having the name Mookie. Uh, Trevor Rogers. Uh, Wilmer Flores. Roger Clemens. Nathaniel Lowe, George Kirby, and this is one of these 3D cards. That's Reed Detmers. Matt McLean, rookie card, and Alec Manoa finishes us off. Uh, so, unfortunately, we didn't get a Corbin Carroll rookie card. I was hoping we would, so I will probably seek that out on eBay at some point. So, let's go over the highlights. We did get a Michael Harris the second rookie card. Um... We got an Adley Rushman rookie card on the Baby Boomers insert. A Michael Harris second rookie card on the Comics insert. Tyler Glassnell numbered 194 out of 199 on the 65 design as a rainbow foil. Uh, a Gunnar Henderson rookie card. Um, this uh, Ty Cobb numbered 67 out of 69 on the 1969 Tops team history set, which I'm not real familiar with. Uh, a numbered out of 50, Ichiro on red hot foil. Uh, that's probably the most expensive card, I think, in this because our autos are just Alec Manoa and Mookie uh, Wilson. Um, hopefully, this guy will turn his career around. He didn't have that great of a year this year. Had a great season the season before, so if he turns it around, this will. Uh, eventually go up in value if his career progresses. And Mookie Wilson is just a fan favorite of mine, so I was just happy to see that. Uh, I'm not going to complain about that at all. This is my first Mookie Wilson autograph. Um, I do have a numbered card of him that came out, um, geez, uh, some, some, like about a decade ago, uh, some kind of purple frame that was numbered for him. Uh, he doesn't show up in too many of the sets, but it's nice to see him. He was a, a big fan favorite for the Mets back when he played for them. You see, he played a long time for the Mets. He didn't put up any, like any great numbers, but he was a real big deal when he first came up. Him and Hubie Brooks were on the same rookie card. Uh, so it was nice to see this. This one brings back memories, and this one has potential down the road. We don't know. Uh, so unfortunately, we didn't get like a bigger name star auto but usually that's not the case when i open them i don't have much luck with those uh so that is it 2023 tops archives thanks so much for watching uh hope you stuck around to watch the whole thing uh thanks so um, <laughs> thank you 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 we just keep saying it over and over anyway hope you all have a wonderful day take care everybody beep beep <laughs>